Today I'm showing you how to get and use Meteor Rejects. What this is, is basically an add-on for Meteor Client that adds features that Meteor Client either rejected or definitely won't add. To get it, you want to head over to their official GitHub page. This is going to be linked down in the description below. Here, uh, under the Releases tab, you want to locate the release either for the latest version, which is probably what most of you are going to be using, or of course, if you're using uh, another version of Minecraft, you can find those all here as well. As most of you watching this video are probably already going to know, Meteor Client does of course require Fabric Loader for 1.21.4 or whatever other version you may be using it for. Uh, if you don't have Fabric yet or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, here as you can see in my downloads, I have the Meteor Rejects add-on and so we want to put that in our mods folder. We want to press on Windows and R at the same time, then we can type in app data over here. Oh, and then hit enter, click on OK, uh, and then in this area we want to go into the folder called Roaming, then not Minecraft, and that's where we're going to find our mods folder. As you can see, I already have Meteor Client in there. You do want to have Meteor Client already for this. Anyways, we can just simply drag Meteor Rejects right into that mods folder as well. It's important that you have Meteor Client as well as Rejects, both for the exact same version in your mods folder. If you want the download for Meteor Client, then that is of course also going to be linked down in the description below for your convenience. Uh, anyways, for right now, we can just close up both of these, open up the Minecraft launcher, and launch Fabric for 1.21.4. So here on the Meteor Rejects page, I thought I might just quickly show you everything that this uh, has. So here is, a, a, so on the GitHub page is a list of all the modules. If you want to look at it in more in depth, then you can of course, um, go to their github page which is obviously linked uh, but here is basically everything that this added there's it's, there's a bunch of things that it modifies as well too um, as you can see it is really really a lot um, a lot of these things as you can see are taken from other clients and merged into this add-on um, basically combining a bunch of things anyways here i have loaded up minecraft java edition as you can see with me to your client and Meteor rejects as well, obviously real nice. And I'll just head into a world uh, real quick over here and show you what this is all about. So upon loading in, it's going to probably look a lot like the uh, regular Meteor client, except pressing on the right shift button over here is going to open up the click GUI area. And you'll notice that we have all the normal things. It's basically these. And then something I don't necessarily really fuck with, but oh well, it, there's a rejects area over here as well which basically contains everything added in the rejects uh, do keep in mind that you can scroll so you uh, this this the render one is the only one you can scroll in in regular meteor and you can scroll like a tiny tiny bit uh, you can't scroll any of the other ones in the rejects one you can scroll a whole bunch so make sure you realize that so you don't miss out on anything um, for, for, for the rest what I don't really like about this is the fact that it doesn't merge them all into their categories so aim assist for example would probably be in the combat category or maybe even in the movement one um obviously all of these would be categorized it's not like that oh well we can't change that um so they're all going to be in their own rejects thing over here obviously meteor does have the option to star these so you can add them into your favorites thing uh for the rest all of these behave exactly as you would expect regular Meteor Utilities too, which is obviously fantastic. Hovering over these gives you descriptions. Um, you can right click on them and you'll still get the entire customization menus exactly as you would expect them to be from Meteor Client. They behave exactly just as they would as regular Meteor Client modules. Um, now because they obviously aren't in Meteor Client, I notice myself not necessarily using these a whole bunch of the time just because Meteor Client doesn't really feel like it's missing anything specific. At least it doesn't to me. But still, this is pretty fantastic. Now, of course, apart from just this rejects area over here, it also makes some modifications to, I believe the, I believe it's the HUD it definitely has some things. Of course, if you go into edit here, right click, you'll get the HUD elements area. And for the rest, I think it also makes some adjustments in the config area. And maybe in the way you can create profiles as well. We'll have to read up on that, of course. If I wasn't lazy, I would have noted it all down and then read it all to you like really professional. Uh, it also definitely adds some commands. So Meteor Client supports commands. Instead of the slash, you use the dot. 
over here and uh, you'll notice there's a few more things there as well so that's obviously really nice too um the great thing about meteor client is that it has autofill in its commands autofill is absolutely fantastic plus the commands added in meteor rejects also fill seamlessly into the fact that it has autofill so you can autofill those as well and so really everything is just perfect everything is fantastic everything is great um that was basically that subscribe like the video if you enjoyed this because uh, of course you enjoyed this right who, who wouldn't enjoy this man what a stupid question um uh yeah and of course actually all of you have already liked the video duh like yeah anyways uh for right now that was basically that uh thank you ever so much for okay uh watching and i do of course hope to see you again in the next one Bye bye